Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Victoria and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Ross shopping haul. Over the past two or three weeks, I went to Ross and I purchased quite a few things. So I decided to do a shopping haul just to show you guys what I did purchase. And if you did not know, Ross was like my favorite retail store. So, you know, I just had to I just had to do it for you guys. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is the things that I did get for Caleb. So let's get into it. Outfit number one. This is a cute little long sleeve button up plaid shirt and it comes with a red shirt as well. And then these nice hand pants. And it is the brand Nautica and it was only $20. So definitely had to cop that. Coming back in again with another Nautica outfit. We got this wet pants outfit. And he really likes this kind of material of clothing because it's like really soft on his skin. This one was $17, so that's not bad. It's really cute and I think it'll be good for winter time. Next, we have this champion outfit. And it's just a long sleeve shirt with like a little hood on the back and then some nice cottony thick sweatpants with the champion going down the side and they also have pockets how cute this was 13 bucks i also got him this cute nike jacket and he likes like the zip up jackets because he likes to be able to do it for himself so i thought this was really cute this was like 10 bucks and then i got this little toy story shirt and this was four dollars Probably be better if I hold it this way, right? Yeah, duh. And this shirt right here, y'all, this this really describes Caleb all day. Like it really does. What's this dude's name? Is he um what is his name? The Tasmanian Devil. So I thought that was really cute. So it has like wild, chill, annoyed, and hangry. And this was four dollars as well. Next, I got him some nice little some thick. These are really, really thick. I don't even know what brand these are. Navy blue sweatpants. And I just, I just love that they have the pockets. I love that they have the pockets in there for him. Those were six dollars. He's really into Ryan's World, so I got him this really cute little pirate Ryan's World T-shirt. I think this was. I don't know what tag is. I think that was uh like three or four dollars. And then I got him this Tommy Hilfiger zip up jacket. And this one was 10 bucks as well. I did get him a toy for me though. Okay, I did get him this little punching bag toy. It's like a little elephant. You just like, you blow it up and then you put water at the bottom and you punch it and then it just bobbles back up. So that was like $3 and he really, 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 really enjoyed this little toy. So I'm glad I did get that. I purchased this because I'm homeschooling Caleb and I thought this would be a good idea to get these canvases so that we can do some art activities because he really enjoys painting. So I thought this was cool to get for him. So I thought this would be really cool. I can't remember. I don't even know what the heck the tag is on this thing. But I think this was like $6, I think. I don't remember, but canvases and you get you get six canvases in there so that's pretty good and then i got him these little puzzle things which are like mathematic learning puzzles so i thought this was a very good buy because you can visually see how to do math so i thought this would be a great great um buy and we actually already used it but he really enjoys it and i think it's really going to help him with his math and understanding what math is and stuff so this was five dollars and then i got the same one but it's in it's with spelling and you just put the pieces together to make the word so i thought this is really cool too and this was five dollars as well so that's all of his stuff that i got oh no wait i got him this too this is a calendar that i got and i thought this was so cool when i seen it i was like yeah i definitely gotta get this because i'm also teaching him you know when you're homeschooling you're gonna be teaching like a lot of different subjects and stuff like that so i'm teaching him like you know the days of the week and the month of the year and stuff like that so i thought this would be a good idea to help show him you know this is sunday this is monday tuesday wednesday you know so on and so forth so that he can know what day of the week it actually is on that specific day and just to actually help to keep organized too i thought this would be a good idea to get this was just one of those buys that's like you can't pass up on oh and it was only y'all 17 dollars. so that's all of his stuff that i did get for him now i'm gonna move on into the stuff that i got for myself i got this black ice cube t-shirt and it fits so good y'all like, right now i have a hard time like getting shirts that really like fit me good in my like torso section i really do like so i don't know, i think i got like a short torso but my hips are like extremely high like i don't know my hips are like all the way up 
So this one fits good. It, it's a little bit long, but it looks nice on me. It was only, oh, I thought this was $10. Y'all, it was only $8. Okay, I'm happy about that even more so now. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. And then I got this long sleeve little pink shirt, which is basic, but I mean, it's cute. And this one was $6. I got this sweater, which is really cute. I think it just smacked me all in my mouth and stuck to my lips and my lip gloss. But yeah, I got this sweater and it's like distressed kind of right here. And I thought that was kind of cute and it's the same like on the bottom. And the shoulders are like that too. So this is something different I don't have in my closet. And it's, it's this thing is thick. This is a thick sweater. Like it really, really is a thick sweater. So this would be perfect for the winter time. And it was only $13. Got this champion sweater. This is so like tomboyish. It's just, it's just, it's waking up my tomboy energy. It really is. And I just like how it's like, it's not like printed on there. It's like stitched on. So that's like really cute. And this was $15. So not bad. This next one. Let me just, bam! Your girl can't pass up on a good hoodie. Like, I cannot, I cannot. I'm a sucker for hoodies. Like, I cannot pass up on a good hoodie. So when I seen this, when I seen this, I was like, I don't even care. I gotta get it. So I got this really nice Adidas hoodie and it was only $25. And these hoodies are easily, easily 60 bucks, $65. And I got it for 25. That's all I'm gonna say. Next, I got these really cool Puma sweatpants and these were 20 bucks, I believe. I don't know y'all, I just really been like trying to get into like, like sweatpants more because I'm looking for the comfort. I'm looking for the comfort, okay? I want to be warm, I want to be comfortable, I want to be able to move without, you know, pants being too tight. Sweatpants. All right, and then I got this really cute sports bra and it is by Airy. And this is like the brand that's like under American Eagle or whatever. This was only $5 and I was like, bring it on. And it's like this really cute, rusted, orange, burnt orange color. Like I said with the sweatpants, I'm off of comfort. Sometimes you don't really be wanting to wear a bra. And that's okay. Because you could just, you know, you can go free if you want to. Or you could just wear your sports bra. Because, you know, them wires, they be annoying. So, sports bra. Oh, the last, like, clothing? Well, not even clothing, but fabric item. I got is this really really cute plush throw blanket and it was 18 bucks this is really cute and it's like really heavy so once again perfect for the winter time y'all y'all ready are y'all ready okay bam y'all listen remember in my other video when i was telling y'all y'all need to be going to ross because y'all need to get y'all y'all yeah. oh shit what is that all right y'all that was crazy what was i saying oh so I got these nice, really cute boots. Tell me you don't, these don't look like Doc Martens. Because they do. They really do. Like, and I really wanted some. And it's not the fact that I can't buy them. I can buy them if I wanted to. But it's like, if I see some knockoff ones that look exactly the same, pretty much the exactly the same, like the only difference between the real ones and these are like the stitching is like yellow and then um then the, like the tag on the back is the there is like a little different but that's pretty much it like from like afar or even close like if somebody come up on you they ain't really gonna know unless you say something and i mean i don't care at the end of the day i really don't care i just like the style of the boot who cares about the brand i really i, I don't care if you can make it cute it don't matter where you got it from if it look cute on you it look cute on you that's 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 just that's just it, that's just it. So yeah, I got these really cute little imitation Doc Martin boots for $25. I really like them. They, these are so freaking cute, like so cute. Um, when I seen them, I was just like, yo, should I get those or should I not get them? And I was like, let me just go ahead and get them because like if I really like them, why not, why not get them? So 
I'm gonna be trying to style like different clothes with this because I'm trying to I'm trying to move on into like move out of my like comfort zone of wearing clothes and stuff. So I figured let me try to buy something that I really do like and I wouldn't normally wear. I want a video on me styling with my imitation thought. Martin's just let me know. Now we're gonna move into face care, y'all, because I bought I bought some face um some stuff from there and I like getting my stuff, some of my stuff from um from Ross because it's way cheaper than if you were to buy at a regular store. So I got this Avino Positively Radiant Max Glow, no stress, no mess. I can't read. <laughs> Avino Positively Radiant Max Glow, no mess sleep mask. And it was only $4. And it's originally like $13 for this. So I got it for four. Then I got another Avino Radiantly Positive Gel Cleanser. And this was $5. And you can use this to take your makeup off and stuff. And it was originally like $13. So, oh y'all, I love this stuff. I have really dry skin. So this helps out so much with like hydration. So this was only $8. Well, it says comparable price at $24. Who paying $24 for that? Not me. Then I got some Burt's Beats Brightening Skin Perfecting Serum. This was also $8 and it said it was comparable value of $18. But yeah, y'all, I've just been really trying to make sure I want to have like really flawless skin. And I and I do, I got really good skin. I don't really have really too much to even complain about because my skin has done me well. Like I never really had to worry about having like acne or anything like that. Like my problem is my, my skin is just really dry and that's it. Like I hardly ever even get any type of bumps or anything like that. And I just wanted just to make sure like any like little dark scar dark marks or whatever like right here or that's a mole but any like hyperpigmentation or something like that i just want to get rid of it or see if i can get rid of it but if not whatever i mean my skin i think my skin looks pretty good then i got this neutrogena eye serum it says it relieves stress around the eye area to support supple skin i got it for seven dollars and it said it was comparable value at 23 dollars once again because it ain't me. I'm, I'm just telling y'all that right now. Last skincare product that I did get is my big thing of Pons, y'all. If y'all don't know, I swear by Pons. Like, if you got dry skin, this is for you. Put some Pons on that thing. You'll be so buttered up, so moisturized. Dry wouldn't even know where. Who? Who dry? Who got dry skin? Not me, because I got Pons, baby. So yeah, this big container of Pons was only $7, and it's comparable at $9. And I also did get some really cute masks. I already opened them because I was using them and stuff. And it comes with like these different designs which are like floral pink green white and then another floral one so you get five it was only three dollars so y'all please make sure y'all are being safe out there and wear you guys mask and get you some hand sanitizer because we got time for that y'all how can i forget how can i forget the most important thing y'all hold up i got this chair y'all this really cute chair for my desk and it was only sixty dollars i've been wanting a chair for a long time and i was looking online to like purchase a chair or whatever but they want like 160 130 and i'm just like that's a lot for a chair like that's a lot for a chair so when i seen this in ross i was like i can't walk out of the store without getting that because i will feel bad like i would really really feel bad if i did not get it i got this chair and i'm so happy that i did because it's so cute originally i wanted a purple chair but i mean pink is close enough i guess this one is really cute and it was it was it was half the price of what i was actually looking to get so i can live with that and it's like this really cute suede material oh i got these these are like makeup holders they were in the makeup section so i'm thinking they're like makeup little cups that you can put your makeup brushes in and Y'all, I love, love, love. Purple is my favorite color. And I really, really love this shade of purple. It kind of looks gray on camera, but it's like a, a lavender purple. And it has like gold in the inside, metallic gold in the inside. So I thought that was so cute. And when I seen these, I was just like, y'all, that would look so cute for my vanity. So I got two of them and these were $3 each. So I will be decorating my vanity. Hold up. I don't know how I forgot this, but I'm adding it in here. So I got these. And guess how much they were? $10. Mm -hmm. $10. They were $10. If you guys 
have never stepped foot in Ross, you should go. They have a lot of good things in there and the prices are pretty good. Like, I really like, I really enjoy going to Ross. It's like my therapy. It's just, I go in there and I feel like a new woman. I really do. But yeah, it's a dangerous place too because you spend a whole bunch of money. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and include this in there too because this was something that I did purchase. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And also go ahead and hit the notification bell so that way you are notified for any of my future uploads. And follow me on my other social media accounts. I will leave those in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.